Hey there, VR Fishing family. This is Doc Cincy here, and welcome to my Epic Fish videos. And after this short intro, you will be taken to the video that you are looking for. And just wanted to, um, everybody likes to see people's lodges. So here's my lodge. I've got my, my shark trophies from the shark event. I've got, you know, all my, my trophy wall filled out, my various leaderboard medals. And um, I guess a more common one, people want to see people's saltwater aquariums. And I don't put any of my saltwater fish in my saltwater aquarium. Um, so in my saltwater aquarium, you will just find all my reward animals. And my um, spider crab is down there. I've seen some people, their spider crab kind of gets out and about. Um, my spider crab does not. I've never seen him anywhere but right in front of me. So let's get on to the fishing video that you are looking for. And um, please make sure you subscribe and check out my other videos. If you are having trouble landing sharks, I've got a great video on how to land sharks. If you are trying to get more sharks on your fishing line, I've got a video for that called my fish buffet. And that is just a way to increase the frequency that you get your sharks on. So on, let's get on to your video. Thanks and as always, happy hunting. All right, Accency here back on South Korea. 16 and this time we're gonna be catching the convict grouper. Um, another fish, I, not the fish, but Middle fish are weird because you don't get bubbles or swirls, so you're going to have to kind of blind cast and you work your way around. I always go left to right, um, keep your bait at middle, and you're going to be looking for an instant bite on the crawfish. You may also get a striped beak perch, middle crawfish. Um, the first time the fish jumps, you're going to know, um, well, maybe not. The convict grouper is a big fish. The striped, um, they both run when you when you hook them. The striped beak perch um, will also jump, but it's very small on its graphic. And I know my convict grouper was around here, so what I do is I just cast, you know, generally here, 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 and here. And I reel my line in for about two or three seconds at a time, let it drop, and if I get an instant bite when I let it drop, I know that's the fish I'm looking for. So I think it was about a four second reel to where i found this one there we go let it drop and there's my fish out there again you're not going to have any bubbles or swirls so, um, i'm just going to have to kind of blind fish around but i break it up into those zones just to kind of make sure i'm covering the most area like i said you're gonna it's gonna fight it's gonna run hard um, if you catch a few of the, that distractor fish you kind of get used to how it fights. It's not going to have, it's not going to run really this far. And you can see how big that was. When you see a fish jump, if it's a small graphic, um, the perch Convict group will be a very big graphic. fish um, probably because I fish for grouper in real life I go on my fishing trips in Florida there you go convict grouper crawfish middle depth looking for instant bites best of luck and as always happy hunting